Hey there, hi there, ho there. Today, we are going to talk about riding gear. What kind of riding gear for what kind of riding? We're gonna talk about fashion, we're gonna talk about safety, and of course, we're gonna talk about those hidden dangers hiding in your closet that you may not know about. So what do we have here? So this is going to be actually a flat cotton jacket. Um, I noticed here that we've got some adjustability on the sleeve. <gasps> And we have pants! Pants! Well, okay, cool. So, what do we have here? So, this is going to be more of an over pan, Michelle. This is going to be something for a guy that's commuting to work, you know, on a daily basis, just look something he can throw over his work uniform, work clothes, um, get to work, take it off, be ready to go. You know, so okay. this is gonna be more of a water resistant pant, not totally waterproof, um, not quite as heavy to get your protection in it either, um, versus- So more light wear. Exactly, it's a little lighter for sure. Okay, um, but I see there's still plenty of pockets. Yeah, plenty of pockets, plenty of ventilation. I um, still have this- Kind of big. Yeah, those are really nice and big, actually. Mm -hmm. I, would, I ride my bike to work a lot, but this is what I wear over like, my work pants like this every day. Okay. And uh, you have some plenty of pockets, you fit your phone in there, that sort of thing. Okay. This is where that zipper comes into play that I was pulling out to the jacket. Oh, okay. So you zip yeah. it to your jacket, where you're never getting wind up your back. Or I see it's got adjustability at the waist, oh, too. Yep, exactly. So one okay. day if you're wearing like, bulkier pants or jeans or something of that nature, you know, Loosen it up, tighten it up. Okay. And you're so, okay, so those pants, those pants um, are not necessarily waterproof. Yeah. More so water you resistant. might want to check if they're waterproof or water resistant. Yes. yes. Um, That's they always a little bit sure. fluffier to exactly. me, not as form fitting. Yeah, it's going to be a little baggier. I think it's going to be different styles of clothes. Now, now, I see this is a three quarter kind of zipper. Yep. Look. So it's easy to take on and off with boots on. Of course, exactly. Okay, so yeah. this is more geared to taking it on and off without having to take your shoes off. Yep, exactly. And if you, I mean, there's different styles of boots, of course. So if you're going for a taller, more motocross boot, um, you can still fit them in there. Okay. Your pants over it. So, okay. really great pants. But yeah, you can get over pants that are fully waterproof. So that's what you're looking okay. for. Okay. So if you're a serious road warrior type of commuter yeah. and you want some over pants that you can wear in the rain, say for example, oh, I don't know, you live in Portland where it rains all the time. <laughs> there you, go. you probably want your commuting over pants to be waterproof, right. not just water resistant. Yeah, so you may want okay. to look for something to have some vortex. Uh, ah, vortex. Yeah. Okay, that brings us to some serious so riding pants. This is, yeah, our heavy duty riding Pants. So this is something um, you don't know to wear over your underwear. So <laughs> you won't have the pants on <laughs> under there, um, but it comes with really nice protection, D30 um, knee pads in there as mm -hmm. well. You can also have for the hip pads as well to protect your hips. Oh yeah. Your hip hair down. Mm -hmm. So just a heavier your deep pant. Yeah. Vortex. So oh, yeah, totally Vortex. Waterproof. D30 protection. Yeah. Okay. So, also get the nice three-quarter zipper to fit over your boots mm -hmm. if you would like. Um, they are a little more form-fitting, as you can see. Yeah, so definitely. So you're probably going to have to leave the boots and take these off. Okay. This is more for your cross-country traveler. Uh, if you're traveling over states and you don't know what type of weather you're going to be running into, this is why. Now, I also notice that even if you don't have the zipper, yes. it's arced at the top. That's something you might want to look at when you're looking at pants. Is it going to give you the the drop at the back so you'll get wind down your backside? Yeah, or and, rain. You know, yeah, or rain running down rain your back. That would, that would ruin my day, no, that's for sure. Definitely. But um, I see that there's some more reflective detailing yeah, here. Yeah. And this feels different here. The fabric here and the fabric um, next to where the boots would be, where you'd be touching the bike, feels different. Yeah, it's a little more of like a grippy material almost, you know, but mm -hmm. really hug the bike, so. Okay, yeah, fantastic that's cool. Band. So those are some things to look at. And I see these 
These aren't pockets, are they? No, this would be a vent here. So this is oh, ventilation. You, to, you know, all seasons, or like I said, you're traveling across the country. You know, the climate's going to obviously change. So okay. Cooler climate, you know, have these zipped up. But if you're in Arizona, Texas, not want to open them up. So. Yeah. Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Oklahoma, yeah. triple digits in Oklahoma last summer, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. So I could have used these. That would have been helpful. And more reflective detailing. So some things to look at when you're looking for riding pants as opposed to over pants is, again, adjustability, right? right? You want to see if it has a matching zipper if you get the same kind of jacket um, so that you can make up the jacket and the pants so you don't get wind or water down your backside. Plenty of pockets. Are you a pockets person or do you carry a backpack? That's something to think about. And of course, always, always reflective details are important to look for. Mostly. And armor. Um, and your riding pants, um, it's good to have them waterproof so that you can ride through all weather. So these are the serious adventure pants. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And now there's something hidden back here. Oh, what do we have here? So ah! these are Triumph Rocker collaboration um, riding jeans. So it's just a, it goes great with one of those really cool fashionable jackets that we sell. Oh, um, yeah. But it's something you can ride around, have the protection you want. Um, they actually have Kevlar in them. Also have pockets for the D three O pads as well. Okay. So you can ride the motorcycle, be fully protected, and still hop off of it and go get dinner and look good. And time. not look like you're ready for an adventure. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. Okay. So riding jeans. That's really cool. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Ta da! You look ready I'm to go. All set for adventure. But you're missing one thing. What? Boots. We got to get you set up with some boots. Oops. Luckily, well, we have some options. So sounds like a plan. Let's go over those. Let's go look at boots. All right. Let's... Okay, Trent, tell me about these boots. Let's do it. So this year, pretty exciting. Trent partnered with Alpine Stars, and we have four different options of footwear that we're okay. offering at the moment. So we will start with these. These are just a really cool, stylish Alpine Star riding shoe. A little more casual. Okay, so yeah. that would go with that first leather jacket. Leather jacket. Or that more stylish women's jacket with all the pockets. Correct. And those so, riding jeans that were really yeah. cool. They look great with those. Okay. I personally love these. I wear these on a day-to-day -day basis. They are waterproof as well, believe it or not. So oh. it's an awesome feature. Um, super okay. comfortable. I can get to work with these on, wear them around the shop all day long. Okay. And can still, you know, grab a bite to eat after work or something. Okay, so waterproof, so you can walk through some puddles here and there. Exactly. And it's not going to get your feet wet. Yes, exactly. So that's awesome. As you can see, they're not super tall. So yeah. if your pants aren't covering the top of them, maybe in a rainstorm, actually. Gets yeah. But yeah, for your day-to-day uh, -day riding, light rain. Yeah, okay. Socks. So a commuter or a casual rider yes. riding around town. Perfect for that. Okay, so awesome. Moving on from there. How about these? These, these are more of your sport bike track boots here. Lower, um, not as worried about being waterproof or, you know, working through the elements or anything. It looks like it has some breathability here. Exactly. It's a nice so little sport wide. bike riding. Keep you cool when you're on the track or okay. you know, you're running around town. Um, you can still ride these around town, still a nice bottom on them, so you're comfortable to walk around in. So mountain riding is what I'm thinking, that you would wear them yes. to go up into the mountains, but they're still comfortable enough. They're not your full-on race boot exactly. that you can't go ri walking around in. Yeah. So exactly. it's more comfortable for street riding. A little slimmer toe sport. on these two to get under that shift lever. Um, okay. Like on a sport bike, is a little tighter on it. Okay. Very awesome product. Okay, so on kind of a, a tennis shoe kind of version, you want to make sure that it's high enough to cover your ankle yes. so you have the ankle protection. Some actually have some um, in, internal armor for the ankle. You also want to look at what it would look like with the shifter. Some actually have shift pads as yes. well. So that's good to know. Um, you want to look at the grippiness of the sole. 
this is a grippy sole so that when you come to a stop, you get sure footing. Right. So those are some things to look at there. So then on the sportier ones, I see they also have kind of a slider look to them. So they have that that sporty, really get racy low. look. Yeah, yeah. really get low in a turn. Okay. You drag your toe, you don't have to worry about, you know. It's not gonna ruin the boot. It's got extra protection exactly. there. It's yeah. got extra fabric there. Well, not okay. you, but if you ever hit one of those uh, reflectors or anything, it can be painful. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Now, I see these look similar. Yes. But one's shorter and one's taller. Yeah. So what's the difference? Let's start with the short ones. So I prefer the short ones. A little easier to slip on and off. Nice flat sole, so still very comfortable to walk in. Mm -hmm. um, this wouldn't be like your full lacrosse boot, you know. Mm -hmm. This is more of just a mid height adventure. Um, right. So more for adventure riding, like I do. Yeah, just more casual adventure riding, mm -hmm. you know, long trips, things of that nature. Okay. Um, has that really nice shift um, and break right here. Oh, to the toe the boot. <laughs> they are the Alpine Dry Stars. So oh, yeah. they, they are basically waterproof. I mean, if you're okay. Standing in a creek or something, you know, like it. Yeah. But, um, for the day to day use, yeah. Really nice and dry okay. and still be comfortable to walk around in. Has some nice protection on the inside, ankle protection. Ankle right protection, there, like okay. Protection before. And just some good people just to grip the bike. There's a lot of adventure riders like to stand up and work the bike. So, okay, so, good to know. These are your Full more on serious, boots. yeah, very serious adventure boots. They are the dry star as well. One thing I do like about the piece is the sole on these at the same time. Um, it's not like your motocross boots. I'm sure all you guys that have rode motocross, those get pretty uncomfortable walking around in. Okay, so, so they're a little more flexible. Yeah, so you can still okay. wear these and, you know, it's not going to be really uncomfortable to get off the bike. So would you recommend when you're looking for um, a boot that you put it on and walk around a little while 100%. to see how comfortable they are yeah, to walk around definitely. in? definitely. I mean, because that's part of the fun of adventure riding, right? It's like you get up in the mountains or you're somewhere and you right. know, go explore a little bit. So you exactly. don't have to feel uncomfortable okay. you can't walk down the trail or, you know, go and do some exploring with it. Okay, so make sure that you try on whatever kind of boots you're going to be getting. Make sure you try both of them on and walk around a little bit. All right, so I think the short boots are what I need. What do you think? I think that would fit your needs just perfectly. Awesome. Well, all right then, Trent. I think I am all ready to rock and roll, guys. Like you're ready for the next adventure, Michelle. Thank you for helping me go through all the different kinds of gear. That was a lot. Right. So Trent, thank you so very much for having me over. Anytime. And I promised to tell you guys something dangerous that you might have in your closet. Well, years ago, I took the armor out of one of my jackets to wash the jackets and the armor disintegrated in my hands. So go to your closet if you already have gear, take out the armor and inspect it. Oh, but I have D3O, it's perfect forever. Well, no. Even D3O, if you look it up, you're supposed to inspect it regularly for any cracks or signs of wear. And also, if you've ever had an impact, it's just like a helmet. Once you go down in D3O armor, you need to replace it. So, yeah. So that's something really important. Go check the stuff in your closet before you go on your next adventure. But as always, Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon in the corner so you get notified every time there's a new video. And what do we always say at the end? Go have an adventure! <laughs>